Silver Spring, Maryland. Silver Spring is an unincorporated community and census-designated place located inside the Capitol Beltway in Montgomery County, Maryland, United States. It had a population of 76,716 according to 2013 estimates by the United States Census Bureau, making it the fourth most populous place in Maryland, after Baltimore, Columbia, and Germantown and the second largest in Montgomery County after Germantown. Inner Silver Spring consists of the following neighborhoods, Downtown Silver Spring, East Silver Spring, Woodside, North Woodside, Woodside Park, North Hills Sligo Park, Long Branch, Montgomery Knolls, Franklin Knolls, Indian Spring Terrace, Indian Spring Village, Clifton Park Village, New Hampshire Estates, Oakview, and Woodmore. Outer Silver Spring consists of the following neighborhoods, Four Corners, Wheaton, Glenmont, Forest Glen, Aspen Hill, Hillendale, White Oak, Colesville, Colesville Park, Cloverly, Calverton, Briggs Cheney, Green Castle, Northwood Park, Sunset Terrace, Fairland, Liddensville, and Kemp Mill. The urbanized, oldest, and southernmost part of Silver Spring is a major business hub that lies at the north apex of Washington, D.C. As of 2004, the central business district held of office space. 5,216 dwelling units and of Parkland. The population density of this CBD area of Silver Spring was 15,600 per square mile all within and approximately in the CBD slash downtown area. The community has recently undergone a significant renaissance, with the addition of major retail, residential, and office development. Silver Spring takes its name from a mica flecked spring discovered there in 1840 by Francis Preston Blair, who subsequently bought much of the surrounding land. Acorn Park, tucked away in an area of South Silver Spring away from the main downtown area, is believed to be the site of the original spring. As an unincorporated area, Silver Spring's boundaries are not officially defined. As of the 2010 census the United States Census Bureau defines Silver Spring as a census-designated place with a total area of, all land, however. It does contain numerous creeks and small lakes. This definition is a 15% reduction from the used in previous years. The United States Geological Survey locates the center of Silver Spring at, notably some distance from the Census Bureau's datum. By another definition, Silver Spring is located at. The definitions used by the Silver Spring Urban Planning District, the United States Postal Service, the Greater Silver Spring Chamber of Commerce, etc., are all different each defining it for its own purposes. Residents of a large swath of southeastern Montgomery County have Silver Spring mailing addresses, including Four Corners, Wheaton, Glenmont, Forest Glen, Aspen Hill, Hillendale, White Oak, Colesville, Colesville Park, Cloverly, Calverton, Briggs Cheney, Green Castle, Northwood Park, Ashton, Sandy Spring, Sunset Terrace, Fairland, Liddensville, Kemp Mill, a portion of Langley Park, and a portion of Adelphi. The area that has a Silver Spring mailing address is larger in area than any city in Maryland except Baltimore. Silver Spring's notable landmarks include the World Headquarters of Discovery Communications, the AFI Silver Theater, the World Headquarters of the Seventh day Adventist Church, the Headquarters of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the Headquarters of the Food and Drug Administration, and the National Headquarters of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community. Rock Creek Park passes along the west side of Silver Spring, and offers hiking trails, picnic grounds, and bicycling on weekends, when its main road, Beach Drive, is mostly closed to motor vehicles. Sligo Creek Park follows Sligo Creek through Silver Spring, it offers hiking trails, tennis courts, playgrounds and bicycling. The latter is facilitated on weekends, when parts of Sligo Creek Parkway are closed to automobiles. The bike trails are winding and slower than most in their region. Recently, rocks have been spread along either side of the road, providing a hazardous bike ride, or skating leisure. Acorn Park in the downtown area of Silver Spring is believed to be the site of the eponymous Silver Spring. The Jessup Blair Park was recently renovated and features a soccer field, tennis courts, basketball courts, and picnic area. Brookside Gardens is a park within Wheaton Regional Park, in Greater Silver Spring. It is located on the original site of Stadler Nursery. Northwest Branch Park is a park surrounding the northwest branch of the Anacostia River. The park includes hiking, equestrian, and cycling trails on the northwest branch and Rachel Carson Greenway trails.
This park is part of Silver Spring and extends farther within Montgomery County. Note that the Rachel Carson Greenway Trail is named after Rachel Carson, author of Silent Spring and former resident of Silver Spring. Note, for the 2010 census the boundaries of the Silver Spring CDP were changed reducing the land area by approx. 15%. As a result, the population count for 2010 shows a 6.6% decrease, while the population density increases 11%. As of the 2010 census, there were 71,452 people, 28,837 households, and 15,684 families residing in the Silver Spring CDP. The population density was 9,021.7 people per square mile. There were 30,522 housing units at an average density of 3,853.8 per square mile. The racial makeup of the community was 45.7% white. 27.8% African American, 0.6% Native American, 7.9% Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 13.2% from other races, and 4.8% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino people of any race comprise 26.3% of the population. Like much of the Washington, D.C., metropolitan area, Silver Spring is home to many people of Ethiopian ancestry. There were 28,603 households out of which 27.1% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 37.6% were married couples living together, 11.9% had a female householder with no husband present, and 45.2% were non-families. 33.6% of all households are made up of individuals living alone and 16.5% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.49 and the average family size was 3.21. In the census area, the population was spread out with 21.4% under the age of 18, 9.4% from 18 to 24, 37.1% from 25 to 44, 23.8% from 45 to 64, and 8.4% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 33.8 years. For every 100 females, there were 94.9 males, and for every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 92.2 males. The median income for a household in the census area was $71,986, and the median income for a family was $84,136. Males had a median income of $46,407 versus $49,979 for females. The per capita income for the area was $32,181. 15.0% of the population and 13.3% of families were below the poverty line. 21% of those under the age of 18 and 23.6% of those 65 and older were living below the poverty line. For the 2000 census, there were 76,540 people, 30,374 households and 17,616 families residing in the census area. The population density was 8,123.6 people per square mile. There were 31,208 housing units at an average density of 3,312.3 per square mile. The racial makeup of the community was 46.61% white, 28.07% black American, 0.44% Native American, 8.22% Asian, 0.06% Pacific Islander, 11.55% from other races, and 5.04% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino people of any race consist of 22.22% of the population. There were 30,374 households out of which 29.4% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 40.8% were married couples living together. 12.5% had a female householder with no husband present, and 42.0% were non-families. 32.6% of all households are made up of individuals and 7.8% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.50 and the average family size was 3.21. The ages of the population are varied, with 23.0% under the age of 18. 9.3% from 18 to 24, 37.0% from 25 to 44, 21.2% from 45 to 64, and 9.6% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 34 years.
For every 100 females, there were 93.4 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 89.5 males. The median income for a household in the census area was $51,653, and the median income for a family was $60,631. Males had a median income of $38,124 versus $36,096 for females. The per capita income for the area was $26,357. 9.3% of the population and 6.4% of families were below the poverty line. 11.7% of those under the age of 18 and 9.7% of those 65 and older were living below the poverty line. The Blair, Lee, and Jalok and Barry families, three politically active families of the time, are irrefutably tied to Silver Springs history. In 1840, Francis Preston Blair, who later helped organize the modern American Republican Party, along with his daughter, Elizabeth, discovered a spring flowing with chips of mica. Blair was looking for a site for his summer home to escape the heat of Washington, D.C., summers. Two years later, Blair completed a 20-room mansion he dubbed Silver Spring on a country homestead. In 1854, Blair moved to the mansion permanently. The house stood until 1954. By 1854, Blair's son, Montgomery Blair, who became Postmaster General under Abraham Lincoln and represented Dred Scott before the United States Supreme Court, built the Falkland House in the area. By the end of the decade, Elizabeth Blair married Samuel Phillips Lee, third cousin of future Confederate leader Robert E. Lee, and gave birth to a boy, Francis Preston Blair Lee. The child would eventually become the first popularly elected senator in United States history. During the American Civil War, Abraham Lincoln visited the Silver Spring Mansion multiple times. During some of the visits he relaxed by playing town ball with Francis P. Blair's grandchildren. In 1864, Confederate Army General Jubal Early occupied Silver Spring prior to the Battle of Fort Stevens. After the engagement, fleeing Confederate soldiers raised Montgomery Blair's Falkland residence. At the time, there was a community called Sligo located at the intersection of the Washington-Brookville Turnpike and the Washington-Colesville-Ashton Turnpike. Sligo included a toll house, a store, a post office, and a few homes. The communities of Woodside, Forest Glen, and Linden were founded after the Civil War. These small towns largely lost their separate identities when a post office was established in Silver Spring in 1899. By the end of the 19th century, the region began to develop into a town of size and importance. The Baltimore and Ohio Railroad's Metropolitan Branch opened in April 30, 1873, and ran from Washington, D.C. to Point of Rocks, Maryland, through Silver Spring. The first suburban development appeared in 1887 when Selena Wilson divided part of her farm on current-day Colesville Road and Brookville Road into five- and ten-acre plots. In 1892, Francis Preston Blair Lee and his wife, Anne Brookley, gave birth to E. Brooke Lee, who is known as the father of modern Silver Spring for his visionary attitude toward developing the region. The early 20th century set the pace for downtown Silver Spring's growth. E. Brooke Lee and his brother, Blair Lee I, founded the Lee Development Company, whose Colesville Road office building remains a downtown fixture. Dale Drive, a winding roadway, was built to provide vehicular access to much of the family's substantial real estate holdings. Suburban development continued in 1922 when Woodside Development Corporation created Woodside Park, a neighborhood of plot home sites built on the former Noyes Estate in 1923. In 1924, Washington Trolley Service on Georgia Avenue across B and O's Metropolitan Branch was temporarily suspended so that an underpass could be built. The underpass was completed two years later, but trolley service never resumed. It would be rebuilt again in 1948 with additional lanes for automobile traffic opening the areas to the north for readily accessible suburban development. Tacoma Silver Spring High School, built in 1924, was the first high school for Silver Spring. The community's rapid growth led to the need for a larger school. In 1935, when a new high school was built at Wayne Avenue and Sligo Creek Parkway, it was renamed Montgomery Blair High School and University Boulevard. The former high school building became a combined middle school and elementary school housing Silver Spring International Middle School and Sligo Creek Elementary School, the Silver Spring Shopping Center and the Silver Theater were completed in 1938, 
at the request of developer William Alexander Julian. The Silver Spring Shopping Center was unique because it was one of the nation's first retail spaces that featured a street front parking lot. Conventional wisdom held that merchandise should be in windows closest to the street so that people could see it. The shopping center broke those rules. By the 1950s, Silver Spring was the second busiest retail market between Baltimore and Richmond, with the Heck Company, J.C. Penney, Sears, Roebuck, and Company, and a number of other retailers. In 1954, after standing for over a century, the Blair Mansion Silver Spring was raised and replaced with the Blair Station Post Office. In 1960, Wheaton Plaza, a shopping center several miles north of downtown Silver Spring opened, and captured much of the town's business. The downtown area soon started a long period of decline. On December 19, 1961, a segment of the Capitol Beltway was open to traffic between Georgia Avenue and University Boulevard East. On Monday, August 17, 1964, the final segment of the Beltway was open to traffic, and a ribbon-cutting ceremony was held near the New Hampshire Avenue interchange, with a speech by then-Gov. J. Millard Chaws, who called it a road of opportunity for Maryland and the nation. Washington Metro Rail Service into Washington, D.C. helped breathe life into the region starting in 1978 with the opening of the Silver Spring Station. The Metro Red Line was built following the alignment of the B&O Metropolitan Branch, with the Metro track centered between the B&O's eastbound and westbound mains. The Red Line heads south to downtown D.C. from Silver Spring, running at grade before descending into Union Station. By the mid 1990s, the Red Line continued north from the downtown Silver Spring core entering a tunnel just past the Silver Spring Station and running underground to three more stations, Forest Glen, Whedon, and Glenmont. Nevertheless, the downtown decline continued in the 1980s, as the Heck Company closed in 1987 and opened a new store at Wheaton Plaza. Furthermore, Hex added a covenant forbidding another department store from renting its old spot. City Place, a multi-level mall, was established in the old Heck Company building in 1992, but it had trouble attracting quality anchor stores and gained a reputation as a budget mall, anchored by Burlington Coat Factory and Marshalls, as well as now closed anchors AMC Theaters, Gold's Gym, Stephen Berry's, and Nordstrom Rack. J.C. Penney closed its downtown store, downtown's last remaining department store, in 1989, opening several years later at Wheaton Plaza. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Developers considered a shopping mall an office project called Silver Triangle, with possible anchor stores Nordstrom, Macy's, and J.C. Penney, but no final agreement was reached. Shortly thereafter, in the mid-1990s, developers considered building a mega mall and entertainment complex called the American Dream in downtown Silver Spring, but the revitalization plan fell through before any construction began because the developers were unable to secure funding. However, one bright spot for downtown was that the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration consolidated its headquarters in a series of four new high-rise office buildings near the Silver Spring Metro Station in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Another notable occurrence in Silver Spring during the 1990s was a 1996 train collision on the Silver Spring section of the Metropolitan Line. On February 16 of that year, during the Friday evening rush hour, a marked commuter train bound for Washington Union Station collided with the Amtrak Capital Limited train and erupted in flames on a snow-swept stretch of track in Silver Spring, leaving 11 people dead. The Maryland State Highway Administration started studies of improvements to the Capitol Beltway in 1993, and have continued, off and on, examining a number of alternatives since then. At the beginning of the 21st century, downtown Silver Spring began to see the results of redevelopment. Several city blocks near City Place Mall were completely reconstructed to accommodate a new outdoor shopping plaza called Downtown Silver Spring. New shops included national retail chains such as Whole Foods Market, a 20-screen Regal Theaters, Men's Warehouse, and Taylor Loft, DSWG Warehouse, Office Depot, and the now-closed Pier 1 Imports, as well as many restaurants, including Panera Bread, Red Lobster, Cold Stone Creamery, Fuddruckers, Potbelly Sandwich Works. Nando's Peri Peri, and Chick-fil-A. A Borders bookstore was a popular spot until it closed when the chain went out of business. It was replaced by H&M. In addition to these chains, downtown Silver Spring is home to a wide variety of family-owned restaurants representing its vast ethnic diversity. As downtown Silver Spring revived, its 160-year history was celebrated in a PBS documentary entitled Silver Spring, 
Story of an American Suburb, released in 2002. In 2003, Discovery Communications completed the construction of its headquarters and relocated to downtown Silver Spring from nearby Bethesda. However, Discovery Incorporated announced in 2017 that they would be relocating to New York City. The reason for this move, according to Discovery, was to operate close to their ad partners on Madison Avenue, investors and analysts on Wall Street, and their creative and production community, said their CEO, David Zaslav, in an email to employees. The same year also brought the reopening of the Silver Theater, as AFI Silver, under the auspices of the American Film Institute. Development continues with the opening of new office buildings, condos, stores, and restaurants. In 2015 16, the long struggling City Place Mall underwent a complete renovation, had its name changed to Ellsworth Place, and brought in new tenants, including TJ Maxx, Ross Dress for Less, Michaels, Forever 21, and Dave and Busters. The restoration of the old B&O passenger station was undertaken between 2000 and 2002, as recorded in the documentary film. In 2005 Downtown Silver Spring was awarded the Rudy Bruner Award for Urban Excellence Silver Medal. Beginning in 2004, the downtown redevelopment was marketed locally with the Silver Sprung advertising campaign, which declared on buses and in printage that Silver Spring had sprung and was ready for business. In June 2007, the New York Times noted that downtown was enjoying a renaissance, a result of public involvement and private investment that is turning it into an arts and entertainment center. In 2007, the downtown Silver Spring area gained attention when an amateur photographer was prohibited from taking photographs in what appeared to be Public Street. The land, leased to the Petersonkas, a developer, for $1, was technically private property. The citizens argued that the downtown Silver Spring development, partially built with public money, was still public property. After a protest on July 4, 2007, Peterson relented and allowed photography on their property under limited conditions. Peterson also claimed that it could revoke these rights at any time. The company further stated that other activities permitted in public spaces, such as organizing protests or distributing campaign literature, were still prohibited. In response, Montgomery County Attorney Leon Rodriguez said that the street in question, Ellsworth Drive, constitutes a public forum and that the First Amendment's protection of free speech applies there. In an eight page letter, Rodriguez wrote, although the courts have not definitively resolved the issue of whether the taking, as opposed to the display, of photographs is a protected expressive act, we think it is likely that a court would consider the taking of the photograph to be part of the continuum of action that leads to the display of the photograph and thus also protected by the First Amendment. The incident was part of a trend in the United States regarding blurring of public and private spaces and developments built with both public and private funds. In 2008, construction of the Long Plan Intercounty Connector, which crosses the upper reaches of Silver Spring, got underway. The highway's first section opened on February 21, 2011, the entire route was completed by 2012. In July 2010, the Silver Spring Civic Building and Veterans Plaza opened in downtown Silver Spring. Downtown Silver Spring hosts several entertainment, musical, and ethnic festivals, the most notable of which are the Silver Docks Documentary Film Festival held each June and hosted by Discovery Communications and the American Film Institute, as well as the annual Thanksgiving Day Parade for Montgomery County. The Silver Spring Jazz Festival has become the biggest event of the year drawing 20,000 people to the free festival held in the second Saturday in September. Featuring local jazz artists and a battle of high school bands, the Silver Spring Jazz Festival has featured such jazz greats as Wynton Marsalis, Arturo Sandoval, Sergio Mendez, Aaron Neville and such bands as the Mingus Big Band and the Fred Wesley Group. The Fillmore is a live entertainment and music venue with a capacity of 2,000 people. It opened in 2011 in the former J.C. Penney building on Colesville Road. The venue joins the American Film Institute and Discovery Communications as cornerstones of the downtown Silver Springs Arts and Entertainment District. It has featured performances by artists Prince Royce, Minus the Bear, Tyga, and many other hip hop acts. In August 2012, R&B singer Risa Renee launched her album release at the Fillmore. Downtown Silver Spring is also home to the Cultural Arts Center, Montgomery College. The Cultural Arts Center offers a varied set of cultural performances, lectures, films, and conferences. It is a resource for improving cultural literacy, encouraging cross-cultural understanding, and to build bridges between tarts, 
cultural studies, and all disciplines concerned with the expression of culture. Dining in Silver Spring is also extremely varied, including American, African, Burmese, Ethiopian, Moroccan, Italian, Mexican, Salvadoran, Jamaican, Vietnamese, Lebanese, Thai, Chinese, Indian, Greek, and fusion restaurants, as well as many national and regional chains. Silver Spring has many churches, synagogues, temples, and other religious institutions, including the world headquarters of the Seventh day Adventist Church. Silver Spring serves as the primary urban area in Montgomery County, and its revitalization has ushered in an eclectic mix of people and ideas, evident in the fact that the flagship high school has no majority group, with each major racial and ethnic group claiming a significant percentage. Silver Spring hosts the American Film Institute Silver Theater and Culture Center on Colesville Road. The theater showcases American and foreign film Stop Discovery Communications, a cable TV and satellite programming company, has its headquarters in downtown, as well. Gandhi Brigade, a youth development media project, began in Silver Spring out of the Long Branch neighborhood. Docs in Progress, a non-profit media arts center devoted to the promotion of documentary filmmaking is located at the Documentary House in downtown Silver Spring. Silver Spring Stage, an all-volunteer community theater, performs in Whitmore, approximately north up Colesville Road from the downtown area. Downtown Silver Spring is also home to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, an agency of the United States Department of Commerce that thought includes the National Weather Service, the American Nurses Association and numerous real estate development, biotechnology, and media and communications companies. Stevie Nicks, of the band Fleetwood Mac has credited Silver Spring, Maryland as the inspiration for the title of the band's 1977 song Silver Springs. In a 1998 interview, Nicks said I wrote Silver Springs uh, about Lindsay, Buckingham. And I we were in Maryland somewhere driving under a freeway signed hat said Silver Spring, Maryland. And I love the name. Silver Springs sounded like a pretty fabulous place to me. And ah, uh, you could be my Silver Springs. That's just a whole symbolic thing of what you could have been to me. The major roads in Silver Spring are mostly three to five lane highways. The Capitol Beltway can be accessed from Georgia Avenue, Colesville Road, and New Hampshire Avenue. The long planned Intercounty Connector Toll Road opened in three segments between February 2011 and November 2014. ICC interchanges in the Silver Spring area include Georgia Avenue, Lay Hill Road, New Hampshire Avenue, Columbia Pike, and Briggs Cheney Road. Silver Spring is serviced by the Brunswick Line of the Mark Train, Metrorail Red Line, Metrobus, Ride On, and the Free Van Gogh. The bus terminal at the Silver Spring Rail Station is the busiest in the entire Washington metro area, and provides connections between several transit services, including those mentioned above. This transit facility serves nearly 60,000 passengers daily. Construction commenced in October 2008 on the new $91 million Paul S. Sarbanes Transit Center which will further expand the station to facilitate the growing demand for public transportation, due to the increase in population in the Silver Spring area. The new center is a multi-level, multimodal facility which incorporates Metro Bus, Ride On, Metro Rail, Mark Train, Intercity Greyhound Bus and local taxi services under one roof. The project was completed over four years behind schedule and $50 million over budget. The center opened on September 20, 2015. The Purple Line light rail, being studied by the Maryland Transit Administration is planned to service this station, connecting Silver Spring with Bethesda to the west and then running east to the University of Maryland College Park and then southeast to the new Carrollton Metro Station. Construction was planned to begin in 2015 although as of January 2015 the project had not been fully approved. In addition to the Silver Spring Station, the Washington Metro Rail's Forest Glen Station is also located in Silver Spring and the Mark train also stops at the nearby Kensington Station. Silver Spring is served by a county-wide public school system, Montgomery County Public Schools. Public high schools that serve the region include Of the public high schools in the region, prior to 2010, Montgomery Blair High School was the only one within the census-designated place of Silver Spring. It is nationally recognized for its communication arts program and its science, mathematics, and computer science magnet program, the latter of which perennially produces a large number of finalists and semi-finalists in such academic competitions as the Intel Science Talent Search. Notable private schools in the region include the Siena School, 
the Yeshiva of Greater Washington, the Torah School of Greater Washington, and the Berry School. St. Francis International School St. Camilla's Campus, K-8, is in Silver Spring. It was formerly St. Camilla's School, which was operated by Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur and opened in 1954. In the middle of the 1960s it had up to 1,200 students. Working class people were the main clientele. The student population was decreasing by the 1980s as working class people moved from the area. By the same decade the teachers were mostly lay staff. In the decade of the 2000s the school's financial situation deteriorated. In 2010 the school had 260 students. It merged into St. Francis International, which opened in 2010, at that time all teachers had to reapply for their jobs. In 2010 St. Francis International had 435 students at all campuses. In 2014 it had 485 students at all campuses, over 70% the students were of parents born abroad. A portion of the Montgomery College Tacoma Park slash Silver Spring campus is located within the Silver Spring boundary, with the rest of the campus located in Tacoma Park. The community college is Montgomery County's main institute of higher education. Adjacent to the White Oak neighborhood in the outer reaches of Silver Spring is the campus of the National Labor College. Howard University also has its School of Continuing Education in Silver Spring. Silver Spring is served by many public libraries. Silver Spring Library started operation in 1931 and is one of the most heavily used in the Montgomery County system. It was relocated in June 2015 to Wayne Avenue and Fenton Street as part of the downtown Silver Spring redevelopment plan. A number of major companies and organizations are based in Silver Spring, including the Silver Spring Saints Youth Football Organization has been a mainstay of youth sports in the town since 1951. Located in Silver Spring, Maryland, the Silver Spring Saints play home games at St. Bernadette's Church near Blair High School. The club was formed when two local Catholic parishes, St. John the Baptist and St. Andrews, merged their football programs to compete in the Capital Beltway League after the SIO for the Archdiocese of Washington, D.C. discontinued its youth football program at the end of the 1994 season. The name Saints is derived from the merging off the two Catholic parishes. In 2009, the Saints moved from the Capital Beltway League to the Mid-Maryland Youth Football and Cheer League. Silver Spring is also home to several MCSL swim teams, including Parkland, Robin Hood, Calverton, Franklin Knowles, Daleview, Oakview, Forest Knowles, Camp Mill, Long Branch, Stonegate, Glenwood, Rock Creek, and Northwest Branch, Stonegate, Hillendale, and West Hillendale. Silver Spring and Tacoma Park together host Silver Spring Tacoma Thunderbolts a college wooden bat baseball team playing in the Cal Ripken, Senior Collegiate Baseball League. Home games are played at Montgomery Blair Stadium. The Potomac Athletic Club rugby team has a youth rugby organization based in Silver Spring. Established in 2005, PAC Youth Rugby has tag rugby for ages 5 to 15, girls and boys and also offer introduction to tackle rugby for U13 and U15 players. In addition to introducing numerous young athletes to the sport of rugby, PAC has also won Maryland state championships across the age groups. Silver Spring is served by the Montgomery Sentinel, as well as Washington, D.C. outlets such as the Washington Post and the Washington Times. Several online outlets also cover local Silver Spring news, including Source of the Spring, The Voice, and Silver Spring Patch. The Gazette ceased publishing in June 2015. The Washington Hispanic has its offices in Silver Spring. Several notable broadcasting companies currently have headquarters in Silver Spring, including Discovery Incorporated and Urban One. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.